What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over a problem called the next palindrome and it's an ad hoc problem. So it's a problem that just requires you to, you don't need to know anything about algorithms, you just need to think and solve the problem. So it's, it's a problem about thinking. Okay, so recall what I said about a palindrome. A palindrome is, let's say we have a number of uh, two, uh, no, not two, nine, two, nine. Okay, and a palindrome is when the le the leftmost number is equal to the rightmost number. That's basically what a palindrome is. So, like if um, for all the numbers, the left one is equal to the right one. Okay, so if uh, in this case nine is equal to the rightmost number, not nine, so it, it it is still considered a palindrome. And two is equal to the itself. Two is equal to itself. So it's also a palindrome. So this is a palindrome. Okay. Now another number two one three two. This is not a palindrome. Although two is equal to the right most value of two, one is not equal to the rightmost value of three. Right. One is not equal to three. Right. So the a palindrome is basically if you were to reverse the numbers up to the middle, and they're equal, then that means that it's a palindrome. So this is not a palindrome. Right. One is not equal to three. Like this one is not equal to three. Okay, so that's not a palindrome. Okay, so that's what a palindrome is. Now, back to the problem. We're been given a number k. So we're given the number of k, and we want to find the smallest number palindrome, right? The smallest palindrome that is just larger than it, right? Just larger than k. So in this case, k, we want to find the smallest palindrome just larger than k. So first input statement is 808. What is the smallest palindrome just larger than 808, right? So if you were to list out all the palind uh, the numbers from 808 and continue, so remember k is equal to 808, and just list out all the numbers, 808, 809, 810, continue, continue, uh, 811, 812, 813, 814, 818, right? And you were to continually check if it's a palindrome or not. So, you know, 809 is not a palindrome, 810 is not a palindrome, 811 is not a palindrome, 812 is not a palindrome, right? So on and so forth. We will figure out that 80818 is a palindrome. And this is the smallest number, smallest palindrome, just larger than 808, right? Because we only have took a few steps of adding one to get to 818. So now, uh, one way you could do this is literally do what we just said before is just keep adding one to this K value and then just checking, is it a palindrome? If it's a palindrome, then we just return true or false. Okay, so now the problem is that this takes too much time. So what is, how would you solve this problem? Okay, let's look at um, some really simple test cases you to solve it. So let's say the number was 9999, right? So what is the largest palindrome here? The, 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 the smallest palindrome just larger than 99. Well, if you keep adding one and one, um, you would get the smallest palindrome just larger than this is 101, okay? And if you were to check 999, the smallest palindrome just larger than this is going to be, if you keep adding one, you get 1,000, add one, you get 1,001. And if you check 99999, continue you to add uh, 10,001. Okay, so if all the numbers are nines, if all the numbers are nines, then that means that all you have to do is just literally just print out one, print out the number one, and then the, and then um, uh, n minus one zeros, and then print out another one. Okay, so if it's all the values are nines, you just print out one, and then the number of nines, the length of the value of k, the length of this k value. So in this k va this k value initially the length is equal to four, right? So if all the values are nines, right? You just have to print out one, then you print out three zeros, and then print out another one. Okay. So this three is just uh, three is just um, the length of the number of nines minus one. Okay. And in this case, it's the same thing. So the number of nines here is three. Uh, three, right? This length is three. So then in this case, we print out one, 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 
and then we print out two two zeros and then we print out one one right so this is just going to be the length of the initial string of k minus one which is two so you print out one one and then two zeros and then a one and then you do the same thing for this 99 so you print out one and then a zero and then a one a one zero okay so that's the case of having all nines and that's a simple case to figure out but now let's go back to our values of 8 808 okay so k is equal to 808 how do i convert this number into the smallest palindrome of 818 well if you just look at the number of 808 and 818 you realize that the only difference is the middle number of one of zero and one so if it's just the number of zero and one uh all they did was they, they just added one to the middle number now this may work this may work but if you have a even number of numbers let's say you have two one three three how are you going to you can't just add one to two one three three right what is the middle number right the middle number you don't know what the middle number is so let's actually go to the test case of two one three three and see how to do this problem so remember k is equal to two one three three and they said that the smallest palindrome of two one three three based on the test cases right is two 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 so if we were to go back to this this value is two 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 and this is the smallest palindrome smallest palin larger than larger than k so how do they get two 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 okay so thinking back to our initial idea of just adding one to the middle value and replacing it let's actually look at two one three three what if we were to split this two one three three into two parts so we're to split this right in the middle left side will be two one and right side would be three three now let's look at the rightmost digit of one and leftmost leftmost digit of three three so that in this case it would just be with this one and this three now how did they get two 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 right the smallest palindrome are two 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 well what did they, what did they do they took this one and they added it by one right two one two two is uh two 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 is just two one and added by one so they they took this number they added it by one and they got two two and what did they do they concatenated this two two with it itself to get two 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 right they took this num last number added by one which gets you two two and then they just concatenate it with itself to get two 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 so if the the leftmost number right is smaller than the rightmost number the first digit of the right number all you have to do is add one to the leftmost digit which is two two and then just concatenate it with itself to get two 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 okay so that's all you have to do okay um so that's one scenario but what if you have a number that's larger than it so let's say we have two one four three how would you do this problem right well um Oh no, not two one four three. My fault. Uh, that's just the same thing as what we had before. Uh, two four three seven. Okay. So if we look at if we split this number, k okay, is two four three seven, and split this in half, two four and three seven. So we have two four and then three seven. And let's compare this first. These digits four and three. Four three four is is larger than three. So what do we do? Well, if you were to think about what is the smallest pal palindrome just larger than k, 2, 4, 3, 7, right? Can't we just print out the leftmost side and then reverse the digits, right? So from this point, we could just print out 2, 4, 3, 7, right? 2, 4, 3, 7 is our k value. The smallest palindrome just larger than k is actually 2, 4, 4, 2, okay? So can't we just take if this if this left digit is greater than this right digit can't we just take our left digit and just print out itself two four and concatenate it with um its own digits reversed four two right two four four two because that will get you the smallest palindrome of two four four two so yeah that's what you would do in order to do this problem if it's greater than if the four is greater than three if the smallest value is greater than three, then we would actually do that. Now, what if we get to a point where we have two, there was equal. So let's say we have two, one, uh, let's 
go back to the case of, um, let's say we have eight, nine, seven, six. Uh, okay, no, my, my fault, my fault. So let's say I go to a case where they're exactly equal. So let's say I have two, two, uh, let's say I have like a one and then a seven, and then like a six and a five or something like this, right? In this case, this two is equal to this two. Okay, so what do I, what should I do at this point? Well, at this point, you actually just continue going, right? You could just continue going, continue checking it because we don't know uh, if we should concatenate it with itself or it with uh, by itself. So we, we just actually keep going. So we're actually gonna loop down from this one to the left and loop this to the right. So at this point, uh, we'll check this one and the seven. Okay, so we continue going, check one and seven. Now. Uh, remember we split this in half okay check one and seven now um is one less than seven it is one is less than seven so what should we do we take the leftmost digit of the left side of this right and add it by one so we have six one two right now we have six one three right now all we have to do is just concatenate it with itself and reverse the digits so we would just have to do um a three one six Okay, and that will be the smallest palindrome, just larger than the initial value of here. So now let's actually explain the code and how we did this, and then I'll be on our way. So let's go to the code right now and explain how to do this. Okay, so initially we have our string of s. Now let's actually check if they're all nines. Remember, if they're all nines, all you have to do is print out one and then n minus one. Uh, zeros and then print out one one so if they're all nines how do i check all nines i just loop through the whole i had a function called all nines and i just loop through ev everything in the string if it's not equal to a nine i just return false otherwise at the end i'll return true so then at this point at this point um i check if all nines if it's all nines i print out one and i print out uh, n minus one which is the, the number of string the size of the string minus one zeros then i print out one one Right, and then I do a continue so that I, I could just go on to the next case. So I don't have to put an else statement, okay? All right, um, this is another case if they're all zeros. Now, I didn't go over that when you have all zeros because I'm not sure if the test case even has that. But if there's all zeros, what you would do is you would actually print out uh, a one, uh, n minus two zeros. So in this case, we have three minus two, which is one zero, and then we have a one. All right, that would be your next palindrome. So that's what I did here. I check if they're all zeros, then I just print out one, one. I print out n minus two, zeros, and I just print out a one. Okay, so those are two specific test cases that are difficult to handle. Okay, now, now it gets a little tricky. Okay, so I have the value of this, I've created n is equal to the size of the string, and I have a left and I have a right pointer. Initially, I set them both to be the middle value, to be the middle number. So in this case, if we had like, um, I don't know, uh, let's go back to the case of 808. Left and right pointer are both gonna start in the middle. So this left and the right are both gonna be in the middle, okay? That's what I do here, all right? So remember the cases, um, so if, okay, yeah, in the middle. Now, if they are both, if the size mod two is even, now if the number of uh, letters are even, number of the digits are even, you have to have to actually move left down one. And I'll, I could give you an example of why. So back to two, one, four, three, right? The size of this number of digits, this is four, right? So n is equal to four, the size of the digits here. Now, if I were to label the index as zero, one, two, three, right? And if, uh, I, if I set the left and right pointed to be n, uh, n over two, so n is four, so four over two is two. So I set both of these at two. That's actually not right because I actually have to move the left down by one because if they're both at four, uh, at zero, one, two, three, that's not the actual middle number. So we have two mills, so we have to actually move left down by one. So I subtract one from left if it's, if, uh, if the number of digits is, uh, number of digits is even. So that's what I do here. So if number of digits is even, I subtract left by one. Okay, so now this is the part where it gets a little tricky. 
Remember back to our case when they're all, uh, all the same in the middle? So if that's the case, remember we have two, one, uh, five, two, two, seven, right? So in this case, left is equal to this part and the right pointer is equal to this part. Now, if this, if they're equal, then I'm just gonna move the left and right down by one, okay? And I keep going that until I get to the end. So that's the, that's the reason why we'd have this. And we left down one, and I move the right down one. And that guarantees that at the end, I'm gonna get, at least I get to a point where the left and the right are not the same, okay? Now, I get down to this part. Uh, left pointer is less than zero, or right uh, left pointer is less than right pointer. Okay, so in this case, if a left pointer is less than zero, then that means that I went past the string, right? So they're, they're definitely not equal. At that point, they're definitely not equal. Now, um, if the left pointer is less than the right pointer, right? So this is just checking the last digit, right? If the last digit is less than the rightmost last digit, right? Um, so this is checking if, uh, I don't know, at, at this point, you're going to get five, two, two, seven. You're gonna get left pointer is five and the right pointer is gonna equal to seven. And it's going to check five and seven, okay? Now, um, if the left is less than the right, remember what we do is we have to add one to the left. So if the left is less than the right, if the left is less than the right, so in this case, five is less than seven, we need to add one to the left. So um, remember if I check if the left pointer, this part is gonna be if the left pointer is greater than or equal to zero. So how do I add one? Well, to add one, you need to for strings, in this case, you actually have to continue going downward, right? And then um, you to add one to the left, you have to continue going downward and then add a carry. So that's what this is doing, right? Because in case if we have like a, a nine plus one, you get a zero, right? Nine plus one is 10, but you have to add the carry, right? So that's what this is for, adding one. So in this code, what it's doing is that it's converting the left left digit to its the the string of the left digit so this five uh, it, it converts the character of five into its number format so it would be five right that's what it's doing um it's also adding a carry in case if you need to carry right so initially carry is one then you add the carry so the carry becomes six then what we do is we divide it by 10 so then we actually uh get the carry of the number so in this case, it would take, uh, so in this case, remember we have to add one to our left value, right? So remember if left is less than right, we add one to the left, add one to the left, right? So what we did was here, we added one to the left digit, so make it six, right? Five plus one is six. Then what do we do? We div uh, divide it by 10, right? To get for in case if we have a carry. So if it was a nine plus one, it was a 10, you have to carry the one right or if it was like a, I don't know 11 plus one something like that but uh, yeah you have to carry the one so then we carry it take the number mod by 10 right and then um, here this number mod by 10 is going to be the leftover value of the ones place right leftover value of the ones place and then if you add by this this uh, this zero what this does is it converts it into a character so this is going to set the string to its corresponding value so in this case, it would set the string to become six, okay? Now you have to actually set the left pointer, the right pointer is also equal to the left pointer. So this right, we're gonna actually set it to six also, okay? That's what it does. Then we move the left pointer and the right pointer down by one. So the left pointer is gonna move down to the next corresponding character. In this case, it would be empty and the right is gonna move down to the next cor uh, corresponding character. So then now these are gone and now we go to the next corresponding character. So that's what this is doing. This is just adding one to the left side and resetting the values to the right. Okay, now once we're done with that, let's say the right value was, uh, the left value was not less than the right value. So let's say it was greater. So the other case, remember it was like eight, uh, uh, let's see, it was uh, eight, five, one, six. Let's say, let's say we have this, right? We split in the middle. This five is greater than, than, uh, than the left side, right? This five is greater than the right side of one. So what do we do? 
um all we just have to do is just reset flip the values of the right side to be the exact opposite of values of the left so in this case the left pointer our left pointer is pointing to here right and the right pointer is pointing to here what we're going to do is we're going to set the right pointer to equal to left so whatever character at the right pointer is going to equal to left our left is five so at this right pointer of one we're going to change this into five okay and then we just continue going down uh, then we moved on to the left down one and the right down one so now the left we move down to here and then the right move down to here now is the right greater than the left uh, is the left greater than the right yeah it is so then we change the right to be the left our left is eight right so the right is now eight and then that's it at the end we just print out eight five five eight and that'll be the end of your palindrome so yeah that's basically how you do this how you do this problem rate comment, subscribe hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll check you guys later peace